knew that such an ancient game could cross thousands of years of history ended up as one of the most addicting games for the Sega Genesis. Puzzle games can provide years of replayability and age superbly, since gameplay is heavily valued. The ancient Phoenicians were partly responsible for columns, which builds upon an ancient game played by merchants that involved lining up three or more gems in order to keep the board from filling up. This legendary puzzle challenge was developed by Jay Geertsen, who later decided to sell it to Sega and probably retire early with the revenue collected from the Genesis, Mega Drive, Atari ST, and Game Gear ports, the Game Gear game being the first pack-in for the handheld system. You have the option to start playing at one of three levels, level 0, 5, or 10. Starting at 5 will grant you 20,000 points at the beginning, 50,000 on level 10. It is usually a good idea to start from scratch though, as the game will kindly guide you with hints until level 3. Just like in Tetris, the granddaddy of all puzzle games, the blocks will fall faster, causing a relentless pace that will have you scrambling to keep all of your blocks in line. Split-second decisions must be made, and it doesn't hurt to have a little lady luck by your side as well. It's always such a satisfying feeling when your 3 or 4 blocks set, turns into a multiplier that knocks you back three or four rows. If the regular mode doesn't provide enough of a challenge, try flash columns and try to eliminate the flashing jewel as fast as you can. My absolute dumb luck time of 20 seconds is something I'll probably never repeat. It's probably the difficulty and the one more try factor that make Columns a game that you'll get the itch for if it happens to be a long work or school day. Sega, along with music composer Tokuhiko Uwabo, have struck gold with this near-perfect puzzler.